In this short demonstration, we're going to take a look at an environment which has two vSAN clusters and thus two vSAN data stores. And I'm going to show you how we can use policies to select between either of those data stores. And just to show you what I mean, if we just set up a simple vSAN availability policy, just call it demo one, and we just go and enable the data store specific rules for vSAN. If I just leave this at the default standard cluster RAID 1 mirroring, what I see is I get compatibility between the two vSAN data stores, which is not what I want to do. What I want to do is to be able to select one of those data stores. So how do we achieve that? Well, what we can do is we can use a combination of vSAN availability rules and tagging. And what I've done is already set up some tags on the data stores. I've set the category to be vSAN tag and assign tag B to the B data store and tag A to the A data store. So let's go back into my VM storage policies. And I want to show you a nuance here when we create these policies. Let's say I want vSAN A as the data store. So I go through and I have the data store specific rules here for vSAN and you also see enable tag based placement rules. Now the thing to note here is that this behaves as a logical or. So what will happen is that if the data store matches either the vSAN rules or the tag based placement rules, again I will leave this at the default rate one, it doesn't matter now which vSAN tag I select, if I set it for A, what you'll notice is that both data stores show up as compatible. And that's because both data stores match either the vSAN availability rules or the tag base rules. So that's not what I want either. So how do I get it to behave as a logical and, in other words, have it behave or have it compatible only when the vSAN availability rule matches and the tag based rule matches. So how you achieve that is through the vSAN settings. We'll leave availability at rate one once again, but notice there's another tags column out here. And this is where you set up the tag rule to make it behave as a logical and. Again, we'll set the category to vSAN tag. And now this time, when I use storage tags with vSAN A, now I just get the A data store as compatible. So you can see that's now behaving as a logical and rather than a logical or. And just to show you that I can change the tag to the other data store, vSAN B, which is the uh, vSAN data store tag, vSAN B data store tag, go next, and that matches the B data store. So that is how you can achieve placement when you have multiple vSAN clusters and multiple vSAN data stores being managed by the same vSAN to server and you want specific VM uh, provisioning placement rules on a particular data store. But that now completes the demonstration.